What's going on? We got an airplane circling our neighborhood with two jets. What was going on, according to authorities, is that an airline worker stole an empty plane from a Seattle airport on Friday before killing himself in a fiery crash. The sun bringing light to the wreckage Saturday on the sparsely populated Ketron Island, just 25 miles south of the Seattle Tacoma Airport, where the plane was stolen. The Federal Aviation Administration, FBI, and National Transportation Safety Board were out searching for clues on how he was able to steal a 76-passenger plane and why he crashed it. NTSB Regional Chief Deborah Eckroat said the whole thing was very unusual. Until the FBI has an opportunity to get a better, obviously, background on the person, find out what motive they had, uh, it's kind of a little too early to, to make a determination on what the objective of was. The 29-year-old man, who has not been named, can be heard apologizing to air traffic control. He has not been identified as a pilot, and there's confusion as to what his specific role was at the airport. Horizon Air, a sister carrier of Alaska Airlines, only described him as an employee. One of our Q400 airplanes made an unauthorized takeoff from SeaTac Airport. We believe it was taken by a single Horizon Air employee and that no other passengers or crew were on board. Eyewitnesses described the incident as bizarre, with some mistaking it as practice for an air show. People had a wedding going on and they were cheering on and they were um, thinking that it's something exciting that's going on. But authorities viewed it as a security threat calling up two F-15 fighter jets. According to the NTSB regional chief, the F-15s were not involved in the crash. Hope that wasn't a